As Jet fans, there's not too many players that we get really excited about that we want to see our team retain, at least not yet. But right now, we have Marcus May, and he's up for a contract. It sounds like the Jets are going to franchise tag him. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome in. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. All right, guys, so Marcus May, it looks like the Jets are going to slap him with the franchise tag. A lot of Jet fans want to see him retained. I think the Jets want to see him retained on a long-term deal. Uh, But it sounds like, I believe it's, what, February 9th or uh, March 9th, sorry, for when teams have to designate their franchise tag players by. So more than likely, this is going to come down to May getting franchise tagged, and then they could potentially work out a long-term deal uh, after that. And this is something that I brought up, God, it's got to be two, three weeks ago now. I made a a video on Marcus Mann, what I thought the Jets should do, and I did say the Jets should franchise tag him. Uh, That's not to say that I don't want to see Marcus May back on a long-term deal. It's just that... With the the franchise tag being as low as it is, they changed the the rules for the franchise tag and the transition sta- ter- transition tags this year, uh, thanks to the new CBA. So rather than it being the average of the top five highest paid at your position is the franchise tag, now it's going to be the average of the top five at your position over the course of the last five years. So it's actually dropping by 10%. So the tag is going to be around $11 million uh, to keep Marcus May on a one-year deal. Uh now, what does that mean in terms of like long-term contract? Like, what is May looking for? Rich Samini early in the season had said something along the lines of like a seven million a year deal. That's just a pipe dream. Not going to happen. Uh, Buda Baker, who was taken just three picks ahead of Marcus May, signed a new contract. Granted, he is three years younger, but averages out to be a little under fifteen million dollars a year. So Marcus May, with him being twenty-eight, is going to want to try and sign the biggest deal possible because more than likely. This is going to be his only big payday. So why would he settle for a lower amount of money this year because of the cap dropping and and all the other implications that could come in? Well, I think the franchise tag and where he wants to see himself, it's it's farther off. Like, I think he wants a $15 million a year difference. Like, let's look at Buda Baker's stats from last year just as sort of a sort of a comparison between the two. They're both different sort of types of players, but uh, May had 16 games. Baker uh, had 15, both had two interceptions, May had 11 passes defense, Baker had six, two forced fumbles for May, one for Baker, one fumble recovery for May, zero for Baker, two sacks for both of them, 88 tackles for May, 118 tackles for Baker. So they're pretty much on even footing. So are you telling me that May is worth $5 million less or $4 million less than, than Buda Baker? I think it's probably a little tough to argue that. I I love the idea of keeping Marcus May here long term. I hope they can work out a deal, but I think because of the new defense coming in, they may want to see if May can, you know, perform well in in, in Salah's defense before they commit a a huge chunk of money to him. Plus, he's kind of getting up there in age. Like, not that 28 is that old, but it's still, you know, one contract away from... (laughs) you know, being a little bit older. So I I think this is the right move for the Jets. It's not a great look. Like, I hope they do still try to work out a long-term deal. I believe they can work on a deal right through, like, the middle of July or something like that. So it's not to say it's done. It's also possibly a good move because when the salary cap jumps up next year with the new collective bar, or not collective bar, with the new uh, TV deal, salary cap could shoot up and make you get a really nice contract next year. So it may be worth him kind of sitting on the $4 million now because maybe he makes that back on next year's contract. Guys, let me know what you think of Marcus May. Let me know what you think about the franchise tag. Are you upset that the Jets are doing this? Do you think they should try to negotiate some type of long-term deal? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets.